it's day two at Willow Springs International Raceway. I'm really glad because Brian is out here. Check the footage over here. Um, really nice that everybody's out here again. Like some guys said, hey, I don't, I don't like doing the same track on two days. I'd rather do more different tracks, but I kind of like having the same track twice. Do better the next day because of that. So um, yeah, I, I like doing tracks twice. It's also less stressful with all the traveling and stuff especially for the guys that break things like if you go to a different track every day there's almost no time to do the traveling and the fixing of the cars so i'm not against it um, and this drift week has more drifting days than any drift week before so um can't Sir. complain Sir. Welcome back, Brian. To what? To Willow Springs International Raceway Horse Thief Mile. Did you fix your clutch stop? Fixed the last. Well, we changed the clutch, but I'm trying to put in a clutch stop right now. Okay, was it an M10? Uh, it's whatever this. Actually, the coolest people on the whole trip. <laughs> All the way from Reedsville, North Carolina. What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Good, Good to see, see you, this man. machine back again. <laughs> the Renegade. What's up? Man, it looks so clean. Did you wash it? Yeah. Your site here, the yeah. Renegade, yeah. is doing um, Drift Week 3 commemorative axle braking, which really sucks. Like for some bizarre reason, these cars have what I think super small CV joints, like 
they're not even small in diameter, but they're also like very undeep. So the cage and everything is very small to them. So I don't know why on such a powerful car, but it's whatever. At least this one comes out. Yeah, yeah. Because man, we don't have to cut this one. We don't have to cut this one and drive around with. I don't even remember what kind of weird contraption that was and even why. Yeah. But that was bad. And what we else? We got the clown shoe, of course. Everything's going really well over here. And here is another Beam Team car. This is Tyler's car. Tyler is breaking the rules because we agreed, I have it on Instagram, I'll pull it up in the screen now, that he was gonna bring his 2JZ car. I never said that. And he is misleading us <laughs> by bringing this non-2JZ E46. Although I'm really happy he's here anyway, so. I rep yeah, that's the E46 represent us. This is so nice that the Beam team is like, <laughs> representing us super cool mr nick Novak. hey how are you doing is the car good did you change yeah. out the diff yeah i'm just trying to buy a replacement now. <laughs> oh man i love it when a plan comes together about to go on track there's somebody that um, goes off track so it's kind of sucks we're just sitting here doing nothing I thought Trifik was gonna be all about seat time but I guess they lied to us he just drove off the track he drove off the track why I don't know is it on fire no. uh, you mean he just drove out by himself yeah how oh, cool Concluding day two and I'm really glad that my buddy Rob Goodman is here one of the best photographers in the game shoots FD everything Super relaxed guy as well. So not only his skills, but also the personality. That's what we need 
Uh, the day went really well, uh, no problems with the car. As you can see, like it's majestic as fuck out here. Look at that. Everybody did really well. I don't think any incidents happened. Uh, I was really happy that Brian and Brandon came out to drift, Tyler. Really cool. And uh, next stop is Tucson, Arizona. Famous beam team location. This is where they go after Willows, Willow Springs. Of course, margaritas. Super glad these guys came out and drifted with us. But I'm also super bummed that Brian is not doing the rest of Trip Week. And Brandon. Yeah. And Brandon isn't either. Tyler also has excuses. Yeah, he's not doing it. Not very nice, but okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Panchito. Happy birthday to you. W section versus the Nissan section. Pretty basic things most of the time. They're like, don't hit the brakes, don't get off the gas. And it becomes like a rolling drag race. They're not doing all these nuanced things where you place the car in specific places and doing, you know, all these things. Because it can be really hard to judge all these guys. And it can be super hard to like. The thing I like about the thing I like about drifting is the is the freestyle aspect, the aspect for you to put your own style on. Yeah, no, so, the Japanese are very different on that. So if it's like, oh, you you know, if you don't do it exactly like I want you to do it, you know what I mean? I like having a, a little bit like, oh, he had some style here that this guy didn't, you know what I mean? Even though he's on the yeah. same line doing the same. The problem thing. is, is you got to judge. It's like, oh, that was sick. Another one's like, oh, that's lame. Yeah. You were doing a rolling burnout, and then just grabbing the e brake. You've got so many nuances, so you either get. A judgeable run where you're doing exactly what the judges ask for and then you can absolutely score off that and win especially on a super technical track like that where oh brandon started his tracks are burnout tracks <laughs> i don't know i'm just riffing yeah.